Welcome to Manhattan, Kansas, where you'll hear Emaw, every man a Wildcat. And inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium, virtually every man, woman, and child love the Kansas State Wildcats. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand to college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see the number 18 team in the country, the Oklahoma State Cowboys taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Kansas State Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Cowboys will kick it away first. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Kansas State's offense takes the field for the first time today. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double team him, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball and hit passes. They're going to throw it deep, and they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. And there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF out. Didn't take long to need a clutch play on the opening drive. It's third and seven. Johnson looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success. And that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Looking for room. It's Giddens. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Don't try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Moves around to clear up the vision. At the 35, he's open. He turns this into a nice gain and gets down to avoid the hit. When it gets in long yardage situations, defensively you're thinking pass, pass, pass. How about the quarterback doing a great job? He wants to push it down the field, but he does a great job scrambling, chewing up chunks of yards, and now making the situation a lot more manageable. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Got it behind the line. It's Cephas. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. They'll line up for a second down play. Motion from the offense. Johnson wants to throw it. Makes his connection. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. And the Wildcats have it with a first and ten. He'll keep it himself. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've seen throughout this drive success for the offense when they've been running the quarterback. Finally, though, the defense got it right. Everybody played their assignment. They honed in on him, and they got a big stop. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Tenth play of the drive coming up, but this time a chance for the defense to get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Grab behind the line, it's Johnson. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. What a great job on that kick. Bouncing it out of bounds inside the 10. The Cowboys offense has its first opportunity of the day. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. Mike, this just is such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside will be a great match. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. On the move, it's Gordon. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Here's the handoff. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, we knew coming into this game that field position was going to be massive. They had their backs against the wall in their own opening drive, but a really nice job there on the run. Third down, getting some breathing room, moving the sticks. On first down from their own 22. They'll leave it with him. Runs through the tackle. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for a man. It's Bowman. Makes the grab on the left. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. And the Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. Wants to throw on first down. And he makes the grab, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete pass. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 39. Running back searching for a hole. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed in the middle, it's Presley. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. 
Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Off the play fake on first down. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, the offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. The give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. He's brought down at the 38 yard line. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Gives it to the back on the draw. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. The Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Getting some heat. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake you could tell defense was not buying it got in the backfield got the big play hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven Johnson looking to throw. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. It's complete. Oh, and the ball's out after that big play. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. You've got to have better ball security on offense. The football possession, that is priceless. Losing possession, turning the ball over, that kills you in games. That loses games, and that is a bad, bad play at a bad time. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. Leaves it with the back. Oh, gave the defender the business. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Nice move to keep running. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Well, 
looking for a physical attack from the gun. Pulled down after a pickup of three. Balls at the 13. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Back to throw. It's Bowman. He's got the tight end. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. K-State has the ball back, and the power cat offense returns to the field. Finds a tight end. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw, and you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damage when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Shakes off the defender. That ought to be enough to give Kansas State the first down. Yeah, third and one, you know what time it is. It's about the big boys up front. you got to give me a little bit of space, a little crack. You just can't give up that penetration so my running back can fall forward just like that and get the first down. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Those play-action passes take a little bit longer to develop, right? Because you still have the fake. And then the quarterback turns his back to the defense, has to reset. you got to protect him a little bit better than that. Or the fake's got to be a lot better. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Off the play fake. Looking to take a shot. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Comes out throwing on first down. 
Pulls it in. It's Cephas. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Yeah. Wide receiver, quarterback. Yeah. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. K-State trying to cannonball their way to a score from the red zone. Johnson wants to throw it. It's complete on the right side. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. He's going to pass on second down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete now. And this is why this team is losing this game. Right? They cannot protect their quarterback. He's already been sacked a bunch of times, almost got sacked right there. This guy doesn't have a chance with the way this offensive line is playing. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. He got it. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Bringing it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Bowman. He'll off one deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. And that one is why offenses are hungry for big, big plays. They've got it first and 10, threatening inside the 30. He wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Foster. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On second down, he's looking downfield. Got his man quickly. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing your team's great offenses. And the Cowboys come to the line with a new set of downs. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. With the catch, it's Presley. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. 
Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide, sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Timeout, Oklahoma State. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He caught it. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what... He can't corral the pitch. The ball's on the ground. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air. It's Bowman. Fires into the end zone. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. Offense staying aggressive. You know the windows are hard to throw into down here in the end zone. Great effort by the receiver. Just couldn't get a foot down and bounce. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Looking for the score. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag's about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So now on fourth down, they'll try to salvage a three and just get points before halftime. Absolutely perfect. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great scene there today in Manhattan. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Kansas State will kick it off to start things in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass at the offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, Then You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. 
from the gun to give, looking for room. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. You see if they go back to the run here on third down. Looking to throw its Bowman. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And look, I know this offense made some adjustments at halftime, and they couldn't wait to get back out on the field and try to generate a score. But their defense is playing lights out. So to me right now, this is a no-brainer. After the incompletion on third, just punt it away and let your defense eat. Looking for a block. It's Lockett. The turns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Coming out on first down with the play fade. Unloads it left. Lost the defense is wide open. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebackers in the second level of the defense to help make that completion a whole lot easier. Caught behind the line. It's Cephas. They get him down after he makes the catch. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that route. Kansas State pushing the pace. On the run, it's Giddens. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They thought maybe they could get the defense flowing the wrong way on the counter, but they were not fooled. Get him flowing one way and then maybe hit that outside on the other side, right? But they didn't even let it get outside. They kept it right in the middle of the field, did a great job seeing it, going and getting it, being aggressive. you got to find a different way maybe to attack these guys to use their speed against them. Johnson looking to throw. He's going up top. What a snag by the defense. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. It's so nice to see defenders squeeze that pigskin. A lot of times, in great position, you see them there to make the play. But there's a reason they play defense. Not this time. Great job securing the interception. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Grabbed over the middle. It's Presley. Stopped after making the catch. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sticks, it's Stewart. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. The RPO, fire complete to the left. 
He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Great job by the defense here rallying to this wide receiver and making the tackle. He is dangerous. They don't want to let this receiver get behind them, but they know that when he makes catches, they better rally quickly and get this guy on the ground. He is fast. Back to the air one more time. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working, ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Fights off a defender. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they'd love to convert this third and short. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. This is a makeable field goal distance, but this offense is thinking touchdowns. They'll go for it on fourth. Nifty little dance step. Got some room, entered to the goal line. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale, you know? You, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up to add another. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And the house call coming on the run from the 23. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Number 19. Set to kick this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. Quickly to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. They'll give it to him again. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Johnson wants to throw it. 
fires to the big fella. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Tackled after picking up the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp when your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. From the shotgun, the inside give. They pick up half of it, it'll be second and five. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful, and you're making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Caught near the sticks, it's Johnson. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. We love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up there. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. Deep shot for the end zone! And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's got the back in the middle. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game, but I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of him. Wants to throw. It's Bowman. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. The Cowboys moving quickly to the line.
Leaves it with the running back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football. The defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. To the ground with the back. A run up the middle is stopped for no game. You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front, and then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. A great job in the base defense making a play. Shotgun snap on third down. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And that's just a simple blitz by the middle linebacker, and he's able to win up front. He sees the gap. He's able to beat his block and get to the QB. And the Cowboys will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Off play action. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Johnson looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Offense facing fourth down. down by multiple possessions they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter they'll go for it on fourth down and he'll get it up to the 38 it'll be a first down man i'm fourth and two i'm looking at my offensive line i'm like you gotta give me just a little slither great job by the offensive line blocking up just enough to get the first down running physically downhill that's all you want on those fourth and two situations kansas state has it with another first and ten Looking to move it through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. The Wildcats look to keep this drive humming. They'll throw it on first down. Quarterback adapting. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. Kansas State quick to the line. Johnson wants to throw it. He makes the connection. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. 
I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. They'll try to get it through the air. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground? Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. They'll put the tight end in motion. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. At this point, the defense just has to bring the house to try to stop the run and get the ball back, even on second and 13. Power football with the run. Hard running there. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. They'll go to the counter. Breaks the tackle. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Cowboys send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. A first down for the offense. He's looking to throw it with the catch. It's Cephas. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Johnson looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. In a play like that, that seems routine, but it only works if the quarterback can get the ball out on time and out in front of the wide receiver. That allows the receiver to keep separation from the defender, and the ball hits him in stride. Going up top on first down. Here's a throw downfield late. And he bats it away. It falls incomplete. This quarterback desperately wants to make a jump play, but they're going to be deepest to deepest, widest to widest. He's got to be patient. No doubt. Situational football is probably one of the most underrated, untalked about things, like understanding the situation. I have the lead. They have to take shots down the field. I'm going to play pass. i got to rush the passer. i got to keep him in the pocket. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. He's looking downfield to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. 
Timeout called by the offense clock stopped with 21 seconds left. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup. Snags it! They will score! Touchdown, Kansas State! And listen, still a ways to go. What a great job by this offense of getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. So after the touchdown, they'll try to use this two-point conversion and get this game to within a field goal. A designed run for the quarterback. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're within a field goal. 16 seconds left, and to pull off the comeback, they'll have to get the onside kick. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. <laughs> 